In this chapter, we're going to discuss integrating Google Analytics with Google AdWords, which is a hugely powerful feature. Our goal here is to give you knowledge to organize, optimize, and tweak your campaigns. But in no way should this be considered a course in the fundamentals of AdWords, and we'll assume some understanding of the basic AdWords concepts. I suggest that before you begin advertising with AdWords for the first time, you seek out some basic AdWords training, at the minimum to the point where you understand the basics of the ad auction, the different types of ad networks, placement versus keyword targeting, and bid terms versus search query terms, to name a few. However, if you're already an AdWords advertiser, it's no surprise why you're watching this chapter. And one of the primary motivations to use Google Analytics is to track and maximize your online advertising spend. This is particularly compelling if you're a Google AdWords advertiser because the optional integration between these two Google products and the fact that they utilize the same backend database enables information that simply cannot be found anywhere else in any other product from any other vendor. Normally, when we think of Google Analytics, we think of recording what happens after they click onto our site. But here, we'll also be able to pull down pre-click data, such as the number of times the ad was shown, click-through rate, etc., as well as cost data, so we can create return on ad spend type ROI reporting and much more. And as we've seen before, and we'll see over and over, having access to information others don't can make your advertising far more efficient than your competitors and maximize your budget. In fact, many of the clients we work with that pay literally hundreds of thousands of dollars for analytics packages will run Google Analytics in addition to those just to get access to these AdWords reports. Before we jump into the Google Analytics reports, let's take a look at a typical report from within the AdWords reporting interface that has conversion tracking enabled. Here we see things like clicks, impressions, click-through rate, average CPC, average position, and all the usual pre-click data. When we link the two together and enable auto-tagging, AdWords passes this data automatically over to Google Analytics. Now, the easiest way to link these two is to start by logging into the AdWords interface. Go ahead and choose the Reporting tab and drop down here to Google Analytics. Now, if you haven't linked them prior, you'll see a page similar to this. If you don't have an account, go ahead and select that first radio button, which will create and automatically link the account. However, most of you are already going to have a Google Analytics account, so you'll select this bottom radio button. This will give you a dropdown of the Google Analytics account that your login ID has access to. Select the proper account from this dialog box, and I highly recommend you leave this destination URL auto-tagging link checked, unless you have a very good reason not to, which only occurs under very rare circumstances. In fact, as we'll see in the campaign tagging videos, it's this auto-tagging that does much of the heavy lifting of getting our AdWords data into Google Analytics. Click the Link My Account button now, and you'll see we can see the Google Analytics interface from right here inside of AdWords. If we wanted to, we could do everything we can do in Google Analytics from right here. But the real value is that the accounts are now linked and integrated, which will enable the full power of the reports in the rest of this chapter.